Okay, let's walk through a very simple conversational five-sided programming example as it applies to the Herco machine. Let's assume we're cutting an 8 inch by 8 inch by 8 inch cubed piece of aluminum. The front left corner of the top side is part zero. And we're simply going to put a 6 inch diameter half inch deep circle on a couple of different sides of the part. First of all we're going to work on the top of the part. The machine is going to be oriented as it is in the picture with the top side facing up in a traditional manner. Again the front left corner of the top side is our part zero. We're simply going to write the mill circle block necessary to do this. Simple conversational block. We're describing where the center of the circle is, what the radius and depth of that circle is, what tool are we going to use, and the speeds and feeds associated with that tool, as well as the type of circle feature we're going to cut. In this case it's going to be a boundary. Once we've got that done we hit the draw button and we see the milled circle on top of the part that we're going to cut. Next we want to cut that same circle on the back side of the part. It doesn't make any sense for us to program the back side of the part using the original part zero that we did in our part setup. So we want to transform our part zero to a different corner of the part. In this case, we want to move zero to the front left corner of the back side of the part. A couple things we need to know to do that. We need to know the angle of rotation that we're going to position the machine to, and we need to know where that second corner or this corner for this back side of the part is in relationship to the front corner or the original part zero. We're going to use a rotary position block that is going to, machine, to rotate the machine into position. We're then going to use a transform plane block that's going to transform zero from where it was located to where we want it to be located for this side of the part. We're going to do our simple mill circle block and then we're going to close that back side of the part with a transform plane end which will revert everything back to the top side. So here we, re we see the rotary position block example. We're tilting the A-axis 90 degrees. Then we're going to put in something we call a transform plane reference point. This is basically the measured distance from the original part zero to where the new part zero is for the, this new side of the part. And in this case, all we would do is have to move zero eight inches in the positive direction in the y-axis, nothing else moves. We then can do the mill circle block, the exact same block we did before. We give it the center of the circle, the radius of the circle, and what the depth of that circle is going to be. And then we close that side of the part. After we've done all the machining that we want to do on this back side of the part, we close it with a transform plane in. This reverts everything back to the top surface where we will continue to do this as we program. Now in the example here, you see I've had to rotate the graphic uh, solid model around to show you the back side of the part, but you can see that the top side still has the Cartesian coordinate, which was our original part zero, and you can see that that same circle is now on the back side. And we just continue this throughout the part. Now we want to work on the right side of the part. Again, the original part zero doesn't do us much good. We're going to transform part zero to what would be the front left corner of the right side. We need to figure out what that orientation is in relationship to the original zero and how far away from it it is. And we begin to program the necessary blocks. In this case, we're going to rotate both the A axis 90 degrees so the back would be pointing up towards the spindle. And then we're going to rotate the C-axis 90 degrees, therefore putting the right side of the part up facing the spindle. We put in our transform plane reference position. How far from the original zero is it to the transformed part zero? We're going to travel 8 inches in X, 8 inches in Y, Z does not change. That's going to put us in contact with the part, or the corner of the part that we want to use as our reference for the next side. 
we would then continue to write all of the blocks that we need, closing it off with a transform plane. And if we look at the graphics, again it's rotated 180 degrees from just for visual reference. But you can see that now the top, front, and right side of the part have all been machined with the six inch circle.